Mexico's presidential campaign officially kicks off next March, but the unofficial frontrunners are already known, and both are women. With less than one year to go before Mexico's next presidential election, scheduled for June 2024, most public opinion polls indicate that the likely winner will be the Morena Party's candidate, Claudia Scheinbaum. Scheinbaum is a published scientist with a PhD in engineering. She served as the mayor of Mexico City from 2018 to 2023. Scheinbaum was also a member of the United Nations Nobel Prize winning panel on climate change. Nosotros queremos we want to continue with the fourth transformation of Mexico's public life, and there is no going back. We will defend Morena's social programs and make certain that the old days have ended when Mexico's government only protected the richest few. Sheinbaum is touring many regions of Mexico, gearing up to expand the political priorities of the Morena party whose founder is current president Andres Manuel López Obrador. His slogan has been, for the good of all, the poor come first. Because the Morena party's poll numbers are so strong, several opposition parties from the right, center and center left have joined forces and named one candidate to represent them, Senator Xochitl Galvez. Galvez has also been touring the nation, seeking support and focusing on social issues like public security, a political weak spot for the Morena party. 165,000 murders, 46,000 people who have disappeared, organized crime in states like Zacatecas, Michoacán, and Sinaloa, the abandoned countryside. I met with agricultural workers in Durango State who have zero support. In downtown Mexico City, near the capital's financial district, CGTN asked voters if they believe electing a woman as president will bring major changes to Mexico. This woman recognizes that electing a woman president of Mexico would be historic. But she says neither of the two candidates' proposals are strong enough to bring major changes. Foreign investors, meantime, want to know if Shane Baum wins, would she depart from President López Obrador's current energy policy, which prohibits foreign investment in Mexico's energy sector. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.